Coming up on Inside Lee University Basketball, we'll have early season highlights from the Flames and the Lady Flames as both teams are off to great starts to the 2012 college basketball season. We'll also have a feature on the Lady Flames and their recent trip to Puerto Rico. And we'll feature Coach Matt Yelton and the Lady Flames soccer team right after they won their fourth straight national soccer championship. All that and more straight ahead. And welcome everybody to our 11th season of Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith, Marty Rowe, the women's basketball coach here at Lee University, the Lady Flames head coach. And Marty, your team's off to a wonderful start, 14 and one, best start in school history. Yeah, we're, uh, I mean, we've got off to a nice start to our season, you know, and uh, and we're looking forward to the remainder of the, uh, of the mm -hmm. year. I mean, we played a nice schedule and, and uh, uh, got a couple of really quality wins early, which which has helped our team, and uh, you know we're just looking forward to trying to get better as the year goes. Yeah. And uh, but so far so good, and, and and we're pleased with where we're at, obviously. All right, we're going to take a look at uh, one of those victories in the pre-conference schedule. We're going to take a look at a game at Lindsey Wilson University for the Lady Flames. Well, I mean, this was a great game for us, and the fact that it was our first real road game, and uh, you know it's early in the year, and. You know, you just don't know. You just don't know how good you're going to be. We're playing a team that was in the Sweet 16 last year and and uh, has a, a, a couple of Division One transfers that are in. And you know, we came out right off the bat and uh, and just uh, just on both ends of the court, we were really really aggressive. But especially you see Angela Span, who's off to a great start start in her uh, senior year, and then Holly German there. Uh, but especially on the defensive end, and we just did all kinds of little things. You see Rachel Lockhart, who that's what she does. She just makes big mm -hmm. plays for us all the time. But, uh, you know, it was great for us to be in an atmosphere where, you know, we were uh, the definite underdog uh, going up there, and we played so well, you know. And the score's not indicative. I mean, the score, I mean we really got after them and, and pushed the game ahead. It was a hard-fought game. We just happened to get way up in the score uh, early in the game. We just kept hammering at them. You see Jenna Adams there with a great play. She had a big game there. But we just kept hammering at them and uh, never really let took our, uh, our foot off the pedal uh, and kept it going the entire time. So, uh, you know, it was good for us. Uh, it really, I think, proved to our team, you know, that, hey, we've got a chance to be a pretty good basketball team uh, and to beat a team as good as Lindsey Wilson. And, you know, they'll be back in a national tournament, there's no doubt about that. And, and uh, you know, these are the type of games as a coach and a coaching staff that, and our players especially too, uh, that we really look forward to mm -hmm. in a non-conference. You know, getting, getting a chance to play, uh, you know, two or three uh, really good national tournament quality teams like uh, Union and uh, that we'll see in a minute and Lindsey Wilson. You see, Angela, you see how we're sharing the ball here. That's been a... Uh, you know, that's been a really big, important thing to what we've done so far in the, in the year, share the ball. And, and you can see that was uh, evident there in that last play. Yeah, 21-point win on the road for Lee earlier in the season. Angela Spann, who is really having a great season so far, as you mentioned in her uh, senior year, 16 points, three rebounds, six assists. And Jenna Adams had 11 points, 11 boards, <coughs> pardon me, and four block shots. And uh, coach, next up, we have a game against uh, Union University, and that one also on the road, and it's really hard to play at Union. Well, it, it just is. I mean, they're so, I mean, they're so good, and especially they're so good at home. And, uh, you know, Mark's a really good friend of mine, and, you know, he's, he, you know, arguably he's the best coach mm -hmm. in the country at our level, and, 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 and really one of the best coaches at any level. And he always, they're always prepared, and, you know, uh, and we look forward to it. I mean, we got down there and actually uh, we, we just early couldn't get in a flow offensively and just kind of just kind of grinded it out in either team. I mean, both of our teams are fairly even, uh, evenly matched. And, uh, 
Uh, and then we hit a little spurt, and we got up 15 to 8. You see Ange with a nice one-on-one -on -one move there. And, and we were able to extend it out. But they, but they went to their bench, and their bench, and their, they really responded. And, mm -hmm. and they, they went on a 15-0 run. And, and, and that was really what the tell-all of this game was, was a 1-15-0 run. And we couldn't just battle ourselves all the way back. But, you know, uh, I mean, we again, a great learning experience. I mean, you can learn uh, so much. I mean, I really think you, you you can learn from winning basketball games too. But I mean, obviously, if you take advantage of a loss and and, and you use it as a learning experience, like we have since then, uh, it, it ends up being a benefit to you. But you know, they kind of pounded inside on us, and and they have one terrific player, and and that's Lavanda Ross, who may be the best player in the country, and she really played well against us, and and that. Uh, Again, was a was a big <coughs> big uh, issue down the stretch. You see, Ange knocking down another three, but you know we got a lot of good play. There's Mariah Isles who's uh, getting better every day, and uh, we got a lot of good play out of a lot of people. You see us sharing the ball mm -hmm. again, moving the basketball. But uh, you know we showed some guts in this game. I'll be honest with you. You know we're down, I think, 18 uh, with about 16 minutes to go in this game, and and. Uh, you know, we could have tucked it and 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 and, uh, <clears throat> and not really fought the rest of the game, but we cut the game to four and had a chance with the ball with about three minutes to go, and then they stretched it back out when we ended up fouling. But it was a great game, and hopefully we'll get a chance maybe to see them down the road again. And mm -hmm. uh, it's always a lot of fun to play at Union. Yeah, seventy-one fifty-six, a the only loss of the season thus far for the uh, Lady Flames. Angela Spann with eighteen points, seven boards. Holly German had 14 points and two rebounds. You're 14 and one, and you've got uh, a transfer that has come in, Mary Jackson. Let's talk a little bit about her. Yeah, I mean, we 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 uh, she's been playing for about five games now. Mm -hmm. We got her at the break, and uh, you know, Mary's going to be a big addition. She's already been a big addition to us, uh, but she played at the University of Memphis uh, uh, last season, and uh, she's about five ten, five eleven. Uh, athletic 3-4 player that can rebound and slash and that really is something that, that, that we've been lacking on our team is mm -hmm. that physical presence on both ends of the court and she gives us that now with a lot of really skilled players around her and so we're looking forward to seeing how well this team can mesh and so far she's done a great job of fitting in the girls have done a great job of fitting her in and uh, we're hoping that that's going to be a big addition to to, to help us get better and better yeah. as the year goes. Well, good luck this coming week and uh, glad to be back on the air with you. Appreciate it. All right, stay with us. We'll be back with more Inside Lee University basketball and Coach Tommy Brown is standing by. We'll have that in just a moment. I'm Ken Jones, inviting you to visit the all new speakingdeacon.com where you'll find everything you're looking for. Browse over 1,000 vehicles, including 12 new car brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. Apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, schedule a service appointment, download monthly service coupons, and find the Deacon Jones store nearest you. It's all right here at speakingdeacon.com. Speaking Deacon, Speaking Deacon, Speaking Deacon. Are you Speaking Deacon? At Sky Ridge Medical Center, we believe every moment is important. That's why whatever you encounter on the road of life, Sky Ridge Medical Center will be there for you and your family. You can count on our experienced, dedicated staff to provide quality health care and the advanced medical technology you need so you don't miss one special moment. Sky Ridge Medical Center, your hospital for a lifetime. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. <laughs> Welcome back. Time now for our center court feature here on Inside Lee University Basketball. The Lady Flames often take trips during the season, but it turns out to be it's more of a business trip than it is a vacation. 
You see, they recently traveled to Puerto Rico in San Juan, and they played a tournament. In fact, they played two NCAA Division II teams in that tournament. Here's a look at that trip and some of the highlights. Time to take a trip around the Southern States Athletic Conference as we tell you about the Players of the Week in women's basketball from the West Division. Faulkner University's Brittany Carter is this week's Player of the Week. Carter's a 6'3 junior from Montgomery, Alabama, who led Faulkner to a 2-0 record last week as she averaged 23.5 points, 16.5 rebounds, and she shot 71% from the field. Carter leads the NAIA in rebounds per game as she averages 14 per game on the year. The men's player of the week from the West Division is Bell Havens University's Britton Smith. He's this week's player of the week. He's a 6'6 senior from Atlanta, Georgia, as he led Bell Haven to a 2-0 record last week, averaging 17.5 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 steals, shooting 60% from the field, including a double-double against Rust College.
I'm Ken Jones, inviting you to visit the all-new speakingdeacon.com where you'll find everything you're looking for. Browse over 1,000 vehicles, including 12 new car brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. Apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, schedule a service appointment, download monthly service coupons, and find the Deacon Jones store nearest you. It's all right here at speakingdeacon.com. Speaking Deacon, Speaking Deacon. Are you Speaking Deacon? Stop hunting. Start finding. Choose the AT&T Real Yellow Pages to find just what you need. No other book has more complete ads and up-to-date listings. Welcome back to Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith. Coach Tommy Brown, the men's head basketball coach here at Lee, joins us now on the show. And Coach, glad to be back on the air with you for our 11th year of Inside Lee University Basketball. Your team also off to a good start at 9-3. and three. Let's talk a little bit about that pre-conference schedule for you. Well, we had a tough non-conference schedule, and uh, it has been a good start. We've got a lot of new guys, and mm -hmm. we're trying to mix them uh, with a few returning guys. And so, you know, it's been a little slower than I would like, but mm -hmm. and we just added a couple guys at break, and so we're playing a lot better now. So, right. uh, uh, you know, another big conference year, and mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. And we'll talk about those two transfers in a moment, but right now let's bring up our first video uh, piece of the, of the show, and it goes back to homecoming back in the early part of the year against rival Tennessee Temple. This is the first time we've played them for homecoming since I've been around, and a little different. It was a lot of old alums. This mm -hmm. is the biggest game there is, and it's it's a great rivalry. And, uh, you can see the crowd, and um, so it was, it's it's always a lot of fun, a lot of pageantry, a lot of passion. Uh, that's Ryan Westbrook there, and Ryan's from Nashville. He's our leading scorer, and he's averaging about 20 points a game. And he can he can drive, he can uh, shoot the three, and do a lot of different things. He's uh, very charismatic young man, mm -hmm. a lot of fun to have on the team. Is that Beecher there, winning the homecoming king? Real proud of him. Uh, so that, and then there's big Josh Henley getting the rebound. Josh is from uh, Nashville too. We've got mm -hmm. uh, several Nashville area guys. And, uh, Josh, a transfer from Gardner Webb. Josh aver actually averaged 10 rebounds a game as a freshman. He's about 6'2", 6'3", undersized guy. Um, here's Ryan with the pull-up three again. You know, he can really get hot, do a lot of different things, plays with a lot of energy. This guy right here, Tyrone Caldwell, he's our uh, player of the week here. and He is a true point guard. and uh, He's done a tremendous job for us. We really missed that last year. There's Chad Lee from Chattanooga Macaulay, a freshman for us, really the first freshman mm -hmm. we've had to play a lot. He hit four big threes in this game. and. Uh, we're looking forward to him having a great career for us. About 6'6", and once he at, uh, picks up about 15, 20 pounds of muscle, he's going to be a heck of a player. Great student. And there's there's Tyrone Caldwell. Uh, just, boy, if we'd have had him last year, we probably would have won it all. Just a pass first point guard, averaging about six or seven assists. See big Johnny Gadet coming back with the dunk there. And good win. Tennessee Temple, very talented team. 63-56, mm -hmm. the final. 20 points for uh, Caldwell, five rebounds, three assists, and then 18 points for Westbrook says uh, Lee wins one of their nine games in the first half. And before we talk about the next game we're going to show you with Bellhaven, let's talk a little bit about the two transfers that have come in. They've already played a couple of games thus far. They have, and they make a big difference for us. Ed Pellarosa and Duran Blue. Duran mm -hmm. is a very uh, fast guard who can shoot the ball, and he's a game changer. We also have our big center back, big – uh, Steve Bennett, he was hurt in, in the mm -hmm. second game of the year, and so he's just now coming back. So that's three big pieces that, that we've been able to get back, and that's made a big difference yeah. so far. Nine wins uh, in the, in the pre-show, I guess, part of the uh, season. Bellhaven, a big victory for you, an 11-point win. Uh, Bellhaven, of course, that was a big one because it was a conference game. It was, and it was a crossover conference game. And, uh, you can see we're wearing the red jerseys. They're wearing the green. We had a little cross-up on. We thought we were supposed to wear the road, and they were supposed to wear the home. But uh, 
apparently something. I think Coach Rowe messed that message up somewhere. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we'll blame him anyway. Exactly. Right? Okay. Our students weren't, are gone, so, uh, you know, they'll be back next week from break. And, uh, but this was a good win for us. Bellhaven is a really athletic club. Uh, Out-rebounded us like crazy, but we, uh, we shot 60% from the field in the first half and actually ended up shooting 70 eight percent in the mm -hmm. second half just unheard of numbers uh, but Bellhaven uh didn't go away uh very athletic club again there's Duran Blue uh, one of the new guys we were talking about who just is a very special guard very fast and athletic and uh, will help us a ton there's big Johnny Gadet had five block shots for us uh, Johnny is uh, he was on ESPN Sports Nation last year mm -hmm. for one of the dunks of the year where he dunked over a seven footer and, and he's back having a great year for us. And, uh, we're able to play our two guards together, Caldwell and, and Duran Blue, and that really helped us. Here's a play to end the half here where Do Johnny gets a big dunk and uh, good that sends us into halftime up by about 10. Uh, Bellhaven again wouldn't go away. That guy's an athletic guy, number five there. We had trouble, he had 25 against us. And so we get up to about a 20-point lead, and then we let them seat back into it. But Ryan Westbrook, is uh, he had 27 in this game. And what sets him apart is his ability to, is to shoot the three so well, but then to drive. You know, most guys can't do both, and he really can. Uh, very fast with the ball. You saw big Steve Bennett there. Uh, big Steve is 6'10", and just now getting back with us, getting back in shape, and we're looking forward to, uh, to a good season for him. So good win, anytime you get a conference win, it's great. 89, 72% from the floor. That's the highest I can ever remember. Yeah, that, that's unbelievable. Uh, Westbrook's again with 27 points as he had 10 out of 13. And by the way, that was your 300th career win uh, in your career. You don't really look old enough to have 300 wins, to be honest with you. Well, you know, I'm older than I look. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I was fortunate to start out as yeah. a head coach at 27 years old. And yeah. so, uh, I had a lot of good players along the way and good coaches, and so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been fortunate, so. All right, well, congratulations Thank on that you. milestone, and also congratulations on your start. Good luck during the coming week. We'll see you here next week. Thanks, Brandon. All right, we'll be back with more of Inside Lee University basketball right after you hear these messages. Stay with us. Fazoli's is the most family-friendly Italian restaurant in town. All of the fresh and flavorful meals are served right at your table on real dishes with real silverware instead of foam or plastic. Enjoy a clean, contemporary dining room and the excellent service you would normally expect from an expensive sit-down restaurant. For less than the price of a burger and fries, you can get a delicious hot meal like baked spaghetti, pizza, and all the breadsticks you can eat. It's fast, fresh Italian. It's Fazoli's. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. Welcome back to Inside Lee University Basketball. You know, Coach Matt Yelton and his Lady Flames have absolutely rewritten the NAIA record books for Lady Soccer. They've captured four straight national NAIA championships. We recently sat down with Coach Yelton and his two-time NAIA Player of the Year senior, Jamie Acton, to talk about this season. Tournament 
uh, our ninth straight regular season championship, uh, you know, our fourth straight um, NAIA national championship. And I think one of the remarkable things about that was, uh, you know, in the last three years of national tournament play, we've only conceded one goal in uh, 15 games at the national tournament level. So, um, you know, this year was another shutout in five games at the national tournament level. So. A uh, pretty impressive set of accomplishments for this year's team. Um, we only lost two games, which we were pretty proud of. And um, off the field, I was able to get the NAIA um, Scholar Athlete and the SSAC Scholar Athlete. And um, I also received the Player of the Year, which was exciting, and I am proud of that. Well, I think, you know, Jamie Acton's one of those special, special players. Um, it's one of those once-in-a-lifetime type kids that you get to coach, I think. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be hard uh, approaching next year without her, but this year she was absolutely fantastic, um, you know, leading the team, doing the things that uh, we needed her to do as really our only four-year senior. Um, and you know, really just establishing herself. Everybody knows what the quality of player that she brings, but what most people don't know about is the quality of individual that she is. Obviously, everybody knows what uh, she brings in terms of the NAI Player of the Year on the field, uh, but I think what she brings off the field to Cosida uh, Player of the Year was an uh, absolutely fantastic recognition for her. Uh, and it just demonstrates the quality of individual that she is on and off, and off the soccer field. Well, I think, you know, uh, we're trying to enjoy this uh, accomplishment a little bit. Um, you know, every year that we've won it, it's almost been like we just started right away on, on the next year, kind of chasing this goal of winning four straight. After we won the second one, we felt like, okay, this is something that's possible. So we're, we're trying to enjoy this accomplishment right now, but we have started preparing for next year already. Uh, we've got a very good recruiting class, small recruiting class, because we bring only, uh, we only lose Jamie Acton and, and Jordan Woody, and, and Jamie was the only starter in our senior class. So we returned 10 out of 11 starters from the national championship team, uh, and most of those starters are three-year starters. Um, and so, you know, we feel really uh, confident about next year, but we also realize that we have a lot of work to do in the offseason. Um, but, you know, I, I think that in terms of the quality of our squad, it's just gotten better and better over the course of the last four years. Coming up next week on Inside Lee University Basketball, the Lee Flames and the Lady Flames will each be entering inter Eastern Division play in the Southern States Athletic Conference. He'll have games with Emmanuel and also at Bruton Parker. We'll also be talking to Coach Andrea Hudson about her volleyball team and their recent run to a national Final Four tournament for the third straight year. All that and much more on next week's show. For Coach Marty Rowe and Coach Tommy Brown, I'm Randy Smith. Have a great week, everybody.